Okay guys, it is time for a new update here on the Bitcoin price and I can already tell you no danger is not over yet. We are still trading within our descending triangle and as I told you yesterday, the likelihood of us actually getting rejected once again here on the smaller time frames from the $20,500 level, the exact level where our downward sloping support hits the current price. Guys, I have to tell you, besides that, I also have some on-chain data we need to take a look at that is actually predicting a final big dump to the downside for Bitcoin, like we actually discussed also here on the monthly candles yesterday, while looking at 30% wicks on the monthly candles every time Bitcoin has bottomed out so far, besides our 2018 bottom where we had a rounding bottom. And if we want to achieve a rounding bottom here, you can already see we need to bounce and we need to bounce fast. So decision is going to be made very soon with Bitcoin. So let's directly jump into the smaller time frames. Let me talk about these very, very interesting on-chain data and information I have prepared for today's video. And after that, guys, you will know exactly what you need to expect from the Bitcoin price within the next couple of days and weeks. Besides that, guys, please make sure to subscribe to this channel, activate the bell so you don't miss out on any future updates. Also on my trades, as you know, I'm still remaining in a $400,000 swing long trade and I will scale this trade up very, very soon or I will actually open a short scalp position. Watch this video to find out. But besides that, I also have some interesting news articles and guys, I wanted to thank you for the amazing support for all the new subscribers, for all the people that are leaving comments down below for the YouTube algorithm that are liking the video. Let's try to reach 1000 likes on today's video. I would really, really appreciate it. And besides that, guys, this video may come a little bit later during the day than you might expect. This is just because I'm actually getting my wisdom tooth removed today. So it might be that I won't be able to upload a video tomorrow, but I will let you know as soon as possible. Guys, now let's just jump right into the charts. Thanks for supporting. We broke out of our falling broadening wedge. This falling broadening wedge still has a bullish price target of approximately 21 thousand eight hundred dollars this price target is not all too likely to get reached why is that first of all guys we are already right now seeing that bitcoin is not managing to pump the price just straight to the upside but we can actually see that bitcoin is forming here another rising broadening wedge so we are right now forming the exact same pattern that we already formed but this time it's the bearish version of it so no matter what we need to invalidate this rising broadening wedge as soon as possible. I have to sadly tell you guys, it's not all too likely that we will get invalidated to the upside. Just because we are now already forming here somewhat of a potential M pattern, we already saw a clear rejection on the daily time frame yesterday. So as long as we are not breaking above the $20,500, $20,600 level, and we are closing a daily candle there. Guys, there's no reason to turn bullish yet. And I'm telling you this not because of the charts only, because also, because also guys, we want to take a look at this on-chain data, which is super interesting. But yeah, this descending triangle, guys, like I said, is still likely to break to the downside for now. I will not take any changes on my HODL portfolio. I will not do any changes on my swing long position just because um, even if we break the daily candle here to the downside, right, the biggest problem with that is that we are breaking this important support on the, on the weekly, uh, on the monthly, and uh, then the only possible bottom is pretty much this wick bottom that would lead us down to the fourteen to $16,000 level. So this is why we are putting so much um, importance on this $19,000 level because it's not only making a decision on the daily time frame but also on the weekly and most importantly on the monthly, the biggest time frame that we can use for Bitcoin, right? So um, besides that, besides that, I know this might sound bad for now. And also looking now at this on-chain data, which shows you the total supply of long-term and short-term hodlers. And if this supply or how much of their supply was bought at a loss for the current price. So for example, if somebody bought Bitcoin at whatever, $4,000 or $3,200, then now this Bitcoin is in a profit at $20,000. So it's not counted here in this percentage. If a user bought Bitcoin at 70,000, almost $70,000, and the price is now 20K, then this Bitcoin is in a loss. So it counts to this percentage. And what we can see here is that 20 or almost 30% of long term hodlers for Bitcoin are right now in a loss. Yeah, 30% of the Bitcoin that were bought from long term hodlers are bought at a loss. 
crazier short-term hot less, 50% are in a loss. This is definitely a sign of the bottom being in relatively soon. The only problem is each and every single time, especially when we saw these massive flash crashes, guys, keep in mind what I just told you, this quick flash crash, it is possible again right now if we break the $19,000, right? It gets very likely even. But what we have seen, Bitcoin consolidating, right? At now 20,000, Bitcoin consolidating at 6,000. Boom, we saw a final dump to $3,200, a 50% dump. And from the current part where we are at right now, so 30% of long-term Bitcoin holders and a loss, 28% to be exact, it went up all the way to 36%. So right now, we still have way to go. Same goes for the short-term hodlers. The short-term hodlers are right now here at 48%. The highs that we saw normally with the Corona dump and also with our massive dump during um, the bear market of 2018, where we corrected down to 3,200, we can also see that the short-term hodlers also went way above the 48, but they reached the 58% level. And to ha to, for this to happen, we need to see a rapid price decline because to see that really that many percent of Bitcoin got bought at a loss, we really see to, we really need to see the price moving down because we haven't seen higher prices than the $20,000 level now for super long for Bitcoin, only for around a year. So we saw a big uh, redistribution here, definitely. But we need to keep in mind, there is, from this metric, also a, a single, more, big, quick dump to be expected. So let's be prepared for this. Also, keep in mind, I told you yesterday, Digital uh, Voyager Digital had some problems with the withdrawals because they were exposed to some other big crypto companies that uh, collapsed. They are now actually filing for Chapter 11. Um, I'm not quite sure um, uh, if they have some, so if they're filing for Chapter 11, maybe the business keeps going, I don't know, and they try to repay the debt. I'm not sure, but I'm just showing you this news article, not to talk about Voyager because I'm not investment, uh, invested, I don't really care, but um, uh, it was just, as, as an example for still companies going down under in crypto right now um, and um, being able or being in the need of selling their crypto assets actually to have funds liquid. Um, besides that, also one thing, some bullish stuff not till the end because I know this bearish, uh, this video was a little bit bearish and it is for good reason, but we need to keep in mind that long term I'm still like I showed you also on the monthly time frame, I'm still expecting Bitcoin's bottom to come in in the next one or two weeks. I mean, the growth of Bitcoin is just insane, guys. Technology adoption curve, we can see here the total global internet users from 1992 to 2006 in this white curve over here. And what we can see, can see here, the total crypto users, so the progress of total crypto users from 2010 or 2009, um, uh, just pretended to be started also at 1992 and we can see crypto is growing faster at a more uh, at a higher rate this is also because the internet is now already existent and adopted by everyone so news and technology spreads way faster but we need to keep in mind that we pretty much have the same narrative even even though the internet now exists back in 1992 everybody knew about the internet but all people or a lot of people were highly skeptical about it and didn't think that it would work at any point in time that we could uh, just call each other through the internet uh, around the globe and send us huge files and play online video games and whatever um, people didn't think that and the same is uh, how it goes for crypto right now people cannot imagine um, that crypto at some point may be the new currency of the world, right? It is pretty much the exact same. If you tell this to someone now that is not believing in crypto, it sounds exactly the same to um, like if you were 1992 and we're talking to someone that on the that all these crazy things would be possible on the internet and and that all of our knowledge would be uh, just just like that with a finger snip uh, on your small smartphone device through the internet, right? So um, this is something very similar. We, so we need to keep that in mind that on the long run, right, everything is looking very bullish. And also um, people are now already starting to call crypto no real value. It's going to zero again. And this is always also a very good sign that the bottom is also almost in. So we are remaining in our long swing trade um, we already i have margin on the sidelines sidelines to scale this trade up to move my liquidation price be below the fourteen thousand dollar level but i just want to warn you guys if this wick happens if we see this dump we see it within a few days 
all the way down to 14, 16,000 and then back up to 20,000 again. And I definitely want to be prepared if this happens. Now, guys, make sure to smash up a like, share this video with your friends. Maybe we can reach 1,000 likes. I would really appreciate it. Like I said, my wisdom tooth get removed today. So I hope I can make a video tomorrow. Leave a comment down below. And now we're going to see us in the next one. Till then, bye, bye.